Hi, Nick Fanardi at Winemaker at Oldenburg Vineyard. Uh, it's a beautiful day near the end of September. We've, spring is in the air and I'm standing in a Feinbos corridor um, that's situated in front of our tasting room. Now we take Feinbos extremely serious here at Oldenburg. We planted this corridor quite a few years ago. So even though the Feinbos is extremely beautiful with lots of flowers, we've got lots of pin cushions here, lots of proteas. The most ama amazing thing is that it's very, very beneficial uh, for good insects. Um, and it's a great habitat for these insects to live in and thrive in. And what's great about these insects is these insects go into the vineyards. Um, they are predatory wasps which lay eggs um, into the mealybugs, which can spread leaf roll virus in the vineyards. And in that way, they control, biologically control, uh, the leaf roll virus. But this is some, some mature fainbos that we have yet. Let me take you and show you uh, what new fainbos species we are planting uh, on some of the fringes of our vineyards. So we just plotted a, a long area basically between two vineyards all the way from the bottom of Rondekorp to the top of Rondekorp and we planted 10 different species of fainbos. So we got in some specialists uh, from Tilbach that came in and helped us choose 10 different species which are indigenous to the area. So wild olives, beetle bush, some protea species and uh, a whole lot of different wild grasses. And the idea is that this corridor will become big and host those beneficial insects, which will help us to control mealybug um, on Oldenburg vineyards. We are in the second area where we've planted fainbos. This is an area which is already very well established with fainbos, but we thought we'd bring a bit of diversity in and plant some different species. You can see there's an irrigation line. We've planted the fainbos on the irrigation line. The idea is while the fainbos is still small, we'll still give it a bit of water, but once it reaches maturity, we'll take the water away. What we've also done is we've also spread a lot of fainbos seeds um, in this area. So a very interesting fact is that we've used a smoke emulsion that was mixed with, uh, with a fish extract. And what the smoke emulsion does is we spray it over the young plant and then also over the fainbos seeds that we've planted. And it mimics a felt fire so that for fainbos to, uh, to flower, um, you need a felt fire. So the smoke on the seed um, is going to trigger the response for it to germinate. So I'm standing right here in the Feinbos with one of our beautiful King Proteas in the background, Rondokop in the background, and I couldn't think of a more perfect moment to celebrate our wine of the month, which is the Oldenburg Rondokop Per Se Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. Um, this is a wine from a, that I do from a selection of barrels from a single vineyard. It's the best of the best of what Rundekorp can offer and just really depicts the seven hectares of Cabernet that we have planted on Oldenburg and really shows that Cabernet works so well in the Banuk Valley. On the nose, lovely dark fruit, plum, bramble berries, even a touch of cedar wood and on the palate, that lovely, 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 silky, really silky tannin, but lots of structure. If you go and read the latest Tim Atkins 2020 uh, report, you'll see he refers to, uh, to the Per Se as very close to Saint Estephane Bordeaux. So very powerful um, and beautifully velvety. That's us from a beautiful day in the Banuk. Enjoy and drink cab. Cheers.